I've never taken what my body could do for granted, but I also never thought it would be so bad that I couldn't do things like walk or carry a cup of coffee to the table or turn a doorknob. And the idea of being that disabled and limited in my daily life even, like forget performing, forget teaching my yoga classes, like um, it kind of, I felt as though I had nothing to look forward to or live for anymore. We can't keep on going, ignoring the fact that MCAS, POTS, and Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome occur in at least 17% of the population, either alone or together. And they create syndromes and multiple symptoms that drive patients crazy because nobody will listen to them. I spent 17 years seeing 19 doctors and the tests would always come back normal or there would be some false diagnosis that didn't pan out. And that is way too long to go blaming yourself for having your life fall apart. Right now, I just was able to move into a new apartment, which is not something even like two years ago I thought I would be able to do. Um, but my health has gone to a point where I'm stable enough that I feel like I'm able to start resuming my life again. Mentally, when someone tells you that there's nothing wrong with you and clearly there is, it makes you feel like you're crazy. And I knew I wasn't crazy because the, the pain I was experiencing was definitely real, but someone telling you that it's not real is, doesn't really feel good. <laughs> so, yeah. We need to legitimize this condition, which really has only been on the scene for the last maybe 15 years or more. And so getting the word out, getting the information out there so that we can educate more medical providers and we can educate even more patients, I think is really where I, I see the future of this and the future of what um, is going to help patients get better. You're not by yourself. It feels like you are, but you're gonna get through this and it will, it will, there will be some wonderful things and some real hard things, but you're not gonna lose yourself. Not really. Mm-hmm. <laughs>